Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Dr. Downstream channel. I apologize for the last video that I put out. I sound like I was half dead. And uh, truth be told, I was actually pretty sick and had an upper respiratory thing, but uh, got over it. And I made a decision not to make any more videos when I'm feeling that bad because it's just low energy and it's not fun to watch. Um, anyways, speaking of low energy and not fun to watch, <laughs> thanks for tuning in for another video. Uh, today we're talking about probably the best investment that I've ever made in my career as an exterior cleaning expert. Um, and that's this automatic ball valve right here. You see it being fed from my Mr. T controlled with an on and off switch for the ball valve right there. Uh, people were asking how this actually works. Very simple. You see I have a ball valve over there, a ball valve over here. My chemicals come up out of the top. Go down into the check valve, acid heat meters, and then they feed the uh, the meter, which the manifold, which branches off there. Um, sure, you can go out and you can spend six hundred dollars on the Flow Pro, and I'm not crapping on them or anything like that. I think if uh, if you need to ha control high pressure, a high pressure line, uh, they've got a wonderful product. Um, but uh, this is a different way of of skinning this of skinning the same cat, as they say. Um, the remote control is a simple 12 volt remote control system off of Amazon. It's like 45 bucks, real simple. So I keep this cool little remote control in my pocket all the time and simple on and off. Nothing too complicated there. What that does is it, um, well, let me not get a, ahead of myself too much here. Um, controller box, um, pretty simple. There's a strobe there so that I can get a visual feedback. I can look back and just make sure that my chemical is in fact on. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was the valve opening up when I hit the off button, or the on button. And uh, real simple, simple. That little button underneath that just arms the system, turns it on and off. Um, and there's an the antenna on the top of my truck there. Uh, it says the range is 1500 meters. I don't know, I've never tested it, but I've never had any issue. Most of the time it just works with the antenna collapse anyways. Uh, but if I'm on the far side of a house, I'll just pull the antenna up, hit the off button. Range has never been an issue on this thing. It's just pretty nice. So it's on, click off. And within two seconds it's closed. And all that's doing is it's shutting off ow, my soap line to my chemical injector, that's all that is. So the soap's coming in from the manifold, automatic ball valve is controlling on and off, and then uh, comes out, circles back around into my chemical injector, which is hiding around here somewhere. Oh, it's right there. That's my chemical injector. Um, the trick to this is, um, you know, when you do need, so my, number one, my, my chemical injector always stays in the line. I never take it out, um, even for rinsing. I, you know, I know it's technically a little bit less flow, but I don't really notice it all that much. Um, if I do feel like, hey, I need to have some more flow, um, or if I'm running my surface cleaner, I simply turn my bypass valve and then I'm getting a straight shot into the hose reels and it's bypassing the chemical injector and I'm getting a full flow there. Um, I didn't get this system until the beginning of this year and I wish I had gotten it three years ago. This is the best investment I've ever made. This saves me from having to run back to the truck multiple times a job to switch from chemical to water, you know, and that saves me so much time. Also, this is going to save you a lot of hassle when it comes to burning plants. The way I do this is, you know, I'm out there J-rotting this stuff, <laughs> slinging that sauce, covering stuff in all sorts of copious amounts of chlorine. Um, and then what happens is right after I paint the side of the house with chemical, I literally hit a button, takes 10 seconds to clear the line, and then you're not running soap anymore, you're running water without having to run back to the truck every time. So what happens is the plants immediately get rinsed off. You know, the chemical doesn't sit on the plants for, you know, they're already pre-rinsed, they're already wet, kind of, you know, if you're doing your job. Um, and then, you know, you apply the chemical to the house and then just immediately you're rinsing off the plants. Um, and it's got to save me, 
you know, I can't say that I've ever sat back with the stopwatch, but I would say that not having to run back from the truck, you know, it's not only the time that it saves you, but also like my ankles don't friggin' kill me at the end of the night. You know, it saves the wear and tear on your body and your legs and running back and forth if you're a one-man operation. And uh, it's not really that expensive. For all the components involved here, um, you know, even if you were to count the enclosures and the LED button and the strobe and the fittings and everything, you know, delivered and with tax, you're probably less than $150 and, you know, you're in business. Um, one thing I can say for sure is do not put your electronics and your automatic ball valve in the same enclosure. Uh, I see a lot of people that do that. They sell units like that. I don't think that's a good idea uh, because even a slight leak and it's going to chew up your electronics and you're going to have an expensive fix on your hands. Eh, it's 150 bucks. It's not. Some people don't really consider that expensive. I just more or less don't want to have the headache of having downtime and having a piece of equipment fail on me. Uh, so there you go. It's a real quick investment. $150 and it will revolutionize the way that you wash houses. It's going to shave time uh, right off You know your average uh, ticket. I would say anywhere, you know, I don't know, is it worth it to, to shave, you know, Depending on the size of the job, you maybe 10, 15 minutes off of that job, plus all the wear and tear on your body. And you're also probably saving, you're doing a lot better job at not burning people's plants. It, it makes it to where, you know, uh, you know, as long as you're in that habit of just rinsing those plants down right after you sling that sauce, I would say you, you don't have anything to worry about with plants if you're, if you're just rocking that normal house mix. So thanks for watching and... Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I'm always interested to hear feedback. I want to know how I can do this better. And I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the subscribers. Um, and again, I just do this for the fun of it and maybe uh, pass on a little idea or two to make your life a little bit easier. Because, you know, I appreciate the people that have been there for me uh, when I was starting out and uh, helped me to avoid making the mistakes of reinventing the wheel. So have a good weekend, guys, and I will see you in the next one.